Hi everyone. Hello, hello. It's Sarah. Welcome, welcome to the Empowered Mind podcast and show. Um, I am hopping on today. I It's a topic that, uh, as always, someone has mentioned, someone has spoken to me about. And if that one person is asking that question, then I know other people are as well. So, um, yeah, I want to talk today about can anyone achieve success? It's a big, big topic. Success, uh, mindset, uh, brain science, all of that goodness is what we are talking about today. Um, and so I'm going to start with a question for you all. Basically is uh, how and what is success for you? How do you see success? How do you deem success? How do you know when you have been successful when you feel do you feel successful have you reached a level that you have aimed for and you're happy about um because I have to say it's different for every single person um if you don't know me my name is Sarah Asquith Balance I am a neuroscientist and success coach I help entrepreneurs get over any money blocks any personal mindset blocks so they can reach six and seven figures within their business so um and as always success is going to look different depending on exactly where you are in your business so if you're just starting out and you're <coughs> you feel like you're gonna when you achieve your first you know handful of clients or when you make your first 10k 20k whatever it's going to be it's going to be a very very different um although still yet successful achievement compared to some of my other clients who are going for seven figures um so it is all relative and within entrepreneurship, within being your own boss, you are going to find that uh, at every new level, there is another stair step to go up for success. It's never ending. And that's the joy of being your own boss and working for yourself, being the entrepreneur or that solopreneur, however you define yourself and your amazingness. So first of all, <clears throat> I want to look and see um about nature um i'm gonna <coughs> take you on a little trip um <coughs> into nature because as i'm looking out my window now i can see the snow on the mountains um i can see the green fields and i can see like i know when i went out this morning there was there was uh snowdrops appearing now for little snowdrops at this time of year they have no problem whatsoever in saying do you know what I'm just going to flower. Um, they do it naturally. There's something programmed within them that they never doubt anything that they do. It's just going to happen. Um, so if you look around in nature, nature never, ever, ever doubts itself, ever. Even my beautiful pussycat I have sitting next to me right now, he's got life sorted. It's only us humans who start to question, start to doubt and say, you know, is this success really for me? Can I really achieve this? <clears throat> so um, if this is if this is calling to you, if this is something that you need to hear today, um, yet yeah, please do hit the like and the share um, and let other people know as exactly because it could be just somebody else needs to hear this message today um, is can anyone achieve success? So all nature is successful. So what is it about us humans that uh, brings doubt and questioning into our minds? Um, well, basically, as humans, uh, th there's the difference is between myself and, you know, my pussycat right here is that we are running on different purposes and we believe we have a different purpose. Um, so this will happen with all, all people. But I have to say, particularly entrepreneurs, I've just got a shaky table. Um, difference, the difference is between uh, entrepreneurs, um, people who are going out, who are the change makers, who are the, you know, the, the people who are doing the big things in the world compared to the rest of the population. And I find that when I have my clients come to speak with me, they're often leaving or they have left 
the corporate world, the world of work, the world that they deemed as safe and secure, um, the world where they had a paycheck, <clears throat> where they um, yeah, had regular holidays, when they knew exactly how long they were off over Christmas. Um, but the downside of it was that they were always told, they were always, always told what to do, how to do things. Um, and if that, if that went along swimmingly and they kept their job, that's success. That is a level of success. Um, if they could climb the ladder um, and that's what they wanted to do and they did it, that's another level of success. That's a different type of success. But I have to say for entrepreneurs, for us entrepreneurs who go out alone and do our own thing, um, it can sometimes be really, really uncertain, um, particularly if we are running that neural program that we are, are going to do something new and amazing and big in the world, but we have never, ever achieved that in the past before. We don't know how that's going to look, but we kind of have a feeling of what it's going to feel like. Um, so I had a great conversation with my little boy. If anybody knows him, um, it's like living with a history professor uh, in a little boy's nine-year-old body. Um, he knows everything there is to know about all sorts of history. Um, and the thing was, we were talking the other day about the workforce and about schools. And <laughs> he actually confided in me. He'd recently gone back into mainstream education after being home educated. And he'd confided in me and told me that he'd actually told the head teacher the only reason that they wanted him here was because he was going to be part of the workforce. And for him, he was not happy about this. He, did, he didn't want to be like a cog in a machine. And I have to say, that's his little entrepreneurial spirit coming out. And I find children have no problem in this. But once they go to school, and I know probably the majority of people listening and watching will have been through the education system in some way, shape or other. Um, we are taught what to think and not how to think. That is the downside. That is the difference between the main workforce and entrepreneurs is that we now as entrepreneurs have to step away and start making our own decisions. We have to start looking at what will success mean to us? What will it look like? And when, when will we have achieved a certain level of success? So uh, I have to say, um, can anyone achieve success? The answer is yes. I totally wholeheartedly believe they can. Um, will they and do they? No, very much no. Um, and the big difference between can they and will they is what goes on between their two ears, is exactly what goes on with their brain programming. Um, if people are coming into the entrepreneurial world from a place where they have had the security and the safety and the success is kind of like getting to the end of the week and staying in the job, climbing the ladder, um, you know, achieving those extra days holiday. If that's the success for them, that's great. But that mindset does not work in the entrepreneurial world. Um, and so if they took that mindset out into the entrepreneurial world, this is where we start to see problems because I get people come and they'll say, I've taken all the courses. I'm onto my fifth coach. I've, uh, I've got all the funnels in place. I know my marketing matrix. Everything's in place. I know what I'm doing. I'm not achieving anything. I've not got the success I want. This is so much harder than I thought. And I have to say with all the love in the world, and I think this should be even taught in schools, but that's just my belief, is that we need to do the mindset work first. And again, entrepreneurship is not for everybody. Um, and that's OK. But I believe that the younger generation, if they have any drive and desire to work for themselves, to achieve that success, they should be given every available um, benefit and training possible before they go and spend thousands and thousands on structures and systems. But anyway, so yes, I think that people uh, can achieve success, 
The downside is that I don't believe everybody can achieve that success that we see as a society, which is the millionaire lifestyle and, you know, the multiple figures and the fast cars and things like that. For me, that's not that doesn't interest me. You know, it's everybody is very, very different. So their level of success and what success means to them um, could be very materialistic. Um, and the other way it could be having that amount of money to live a really lovely, amazing, peaceful lifestyle where they give and they give back to the community. And so that is what success looks like to them. Um, the latter is more of, of how I am. I know there's some amazing friends who would like to just have that money so they can, they can live that kind of lavishness but everybody is so, so different. So my question that I started with at the top is how and what does success look like for you? Um, it's very, very different. Um, and also um, I was having the conversation, but it was kind of like the people who are at just starting out are aiming for the, the six and seven and plus figure businesses. But the people who are already there their big goal at that one time was to just get that first handful of clients. So, you know, it depends. We are all in so many different places on this journey. Um, so yes and no is the answer. Can anyone achieve success? But as I said, the main thing that I find is what goes on in our brains. So as you know, I'm a neuroscientist. I'm going to give you some good science. Um, but <clears throat> basically, if we sat down in a room and I'd said, please give me the attributes of a, um, a successful person. Um, and again, it's, it's kind of like that, what success means to you. So it would be, everyone would probably have someone different. It could be Oprah, it could be Edison, um, it could be every single person it could be if you're a sports person it could be another sports figure um, it could be absolutely anybody um, but again it's someone that calls to you um, and you know I, I hear people say oh just copy copy what they do copy their their success formula um, and I have to say it doesn't work well it works to a certain level. Okay, so the external, you can copy the external. You can copy uh, right down to the number of emails they send out each week, right down to, um, you know, the clothes they wear and the houses they have. But I have to say it's all external. And this is where we fall short is because we can never, ever, ever get in the mind of that person and basically that mindset has come from when they were between the age of two and seven years old so unless we were there at the time there is no way of knowing exactly what was going on to make that person the person they are today um, so it's yeah it's really really difficult and probably wrong in saying just just copy copy what they've done and and you'll get the results because you won't um, that is not how to achieve the success the success is all yours if you want it and the thing is you have to want it you have to desire it so so badly <clears throat> because being an entrepreneur being self-employed there are so many hurdles that will come in your way. Um, it might be uh, people will say awful things about you. It could be you need to learn to do something new that you just kind of know you're not great at. It could be something like tech. Um, there could be a million and one things um, when you are your own boss. Um, but to basically overcome everything is to really get your head in the right place, is to really understand the, the mindset of a, a successful entrepreneur. And they do have, uh, most entrepreneurs, most successful people do have a particular mindset and majority of them have actually been trained in order to think a certain way, a certain way of achieving success. Um, and it's something that I cover in the Empowered Mind Academy, um, but there are particular steps in order to put your brain into the right place 
um, into getting rid of the old patterns and bringing in the new ones to unprogram, to reprogram. Um, so it's there's a lot, a lot that goes on. But the whole thing about success is um, there's two there's two main things and three main things, to be honest, um, that goes on in the brain. So um, as entrepreneurs, if we have a an idea, if we have a thought for innovation, it all goes on in the prefrontal cortex. Now, this is linked to our conscious brain, but we only use our conscious brain for five percent of the time. The rest of our brain, the rest of our mind is the subconscious mind, and that runs 95% of the time. When we become successful entrepreneurs, or in order to become successful entrepreneurs, in order to achieve that success, we have to marry together what we believe in our conscious mind and what we believe in our subconscious mind. This is where the brain training comes in that I do, is because we need to build, we need to build those pathways, those uh, pathways for success. Um, and that's, that's the, the key is to bring the conscious and the subconscious together. Now, when we do that, something magical happens right at the back called the reticular activating system. That's basically, if I can describe it, it's like a bouncer in a club. Um, it will only let in things that are important to you. So if, if that is not on the list, <laughs> it's not coming into the rest of your brain, okay? It's, the, it's a filter, it's a filter that <clears throat> filters out thousands and thousands and thousands of thoughts a day that if we allowed all in, would drive us crazy. But it does that amazingly well when our conscious and our subconscious minds are, are actually in, in sync with each other. Um, so it will then pass information to the cerebrum and then we start to have the thoughts, we start to have the emotions and we can start then to put amazing things into place as entrepreneurs and that's when we start to achieve success. Uh, we are also, uh, a very important aspect is that we get that dopamine kick. So you probably have heard of it. It's that kind of like really feels that feel good factor. It's that chemical that makes us feel great. It's only very short lived in the brain, but the brain remembers how great it felt and it wants it again. So when you have achieved that level of success, um, it wants to do it more. It wants to do it over and over and over. And this is where you will say, OK, so this week I want um, three clients. And then the next time it'll be, OK, I've done it. I've achieved it. And it felt good. My brain told me it felt good. So next week I'm going to go for six clients. So it ups the next level of success. Um, and then when you achieve that, it fires off that, that chemical again, that real feel good factor, but also comes into play is memory. Now, people who are successful build up a memory of what it feels like to achieve things, what it feels like to have success. Um, and so it's when you once you've had it, once you know that feeling, once you've harnessed that emotion, um, you can build it again, you can make it come back again and again and again, which is why in the Empowered Mind training, we do lots and lots of work on emotion, we do lots of work on visualization, um, on uh, like feelings, on um, affirmations, um, as well as the brain training part of it as well. So yeah, the memory comes into place as well. So I invite you as we wind up today for this, uh, this show, this podcast, is can anyone achieve success? And I would say, yes, they can. Um, it all depends what goes on between your two ears. Um, will most people, unfortunately, no, um, because it is a system and a process. And if you listen to the external world more than you listen to what you really, really desire, there is a good chance that you won't be able to achieve it. So my tip really is to have something greater than yourself to work towards. This is why I talk about having your whys, your big why and your little why. Um, something greater to work towards um, because the entrepreneurial journey is not an always an easy one. Um, but when you have something to work towards and when you have a desire bigger than your fears, 
um, of will you or won't you achieve success, you will never ever need to ask that question ever again because you will know that anything in this universe is possible. I'm going to leave that with you today, everyone. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you want to know more about my work, head to sarahaskwithphalance.com. Um, there are a whole bunch of free resources as well. Get all that goodness. It's available for you. Um, if, if you've liked this, please pass it on to someone who you know will need to hear it today. I am going to leave that, leave you with so much love and catch up with you next time. Take care. See you soon. Bye now.